In the rest of New York City, we have halal carts. But here, we have a noodle cart. I love it here. Wonton soup. We've got pho. pho. We've got chicken feet. I love chicken feet. What about pig ears? Pig ears? Yeah. Everything, yeah. Duck tongues? Duck tongues I'm less into. Really? Okay. But pig ears is my jam. Okay. Let's talk Chinatown. New York City has nine. Yeah, count them. Nine Chinatowns. But this one is on 8th Avenue in beautiful Sunset Park. I got the good. Today we're meeting up with my friend and amazing artist Stephanie. And we're gonna sample some unique produce. Okay. <laughs> Get to the bottom of the banh mi. No one's trying to cancel the baguette. Bring Aunt Jemima back. <laughs> and even cross the bridge. Oh, man. And we're gonna do it the Brooklyn way. So much energy out here. Yeah, I love this neighborhood. Have you been here before? No, What? where are we, please? We are in <laughs> Sunset Park, okay. which is one of Brooklyn's Chinatowns. Not the only one in Brooklyn, but okay. one of. Okay. Um, you know, the first Chinatown in America was in San Francisco, but mm. the first one in New York was in Manhattan. As people got priced out, they've moved to the other boroughs. Okay. People like Flushing are- and Flushing, Flushing, Bensonhurst, uh -huh. Bay Ridge, yeah. and here, Sunset okay. Park. And on the weekends, it's just super vibrant. You see all of these shops with all their goods out, and mm -hmm. it's bustling. Like, the aunties will get in your face <laughs> if you are between them and their whole fish. <laughs> yeah. If I was dropped in this location, I would not think that I was in Brooklyn. Well, like, this is their Brooklyn, it's right? It's their Brooklyn, yeah. There are a lot of people who grow up in this neighborhood and they speak with thick Chinese accents, mm -hmm. even though they are in the middle of Brooklyn, right? Yeah. It is so large, you don't have to leave and you have everything that you need right here. For sure. So tell me about some of this produce. I see water chestnuts. Burdock fruit, yeah. Napa cabbage, different types of bok choy. The produce is honestly so much better than in white neighborhoods. <laughs> I remember going to Chinatown when I was like younger because not only is it fresh, but it's also more affordable. Yeah. Than anywhere else. It's it's you can get anything that you in want. Every way. Yeah. It's fresher, it's cheaper. They'll yell at you, but you know what? That's for somebody. It's like a Jamaican restaurant, man. If they're not yelling at you, then the food isn't good. That's right. <laughs> can we get this bag of morel mushrooms here? That's amazing. So, a little birdie told me that you've never had durian before. I've never now, had it. I've had durian, so I think we should start the meal with this. Here, this is where you want to start I, the meal. I want to start it up. I want to make this happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please. I've had it. I've had it. She has not had it. This screams do not eat me. <laughs> it smells very fruity though. It's kind of like a funky banana yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah. It's not so bad. It's like disco, it's funky, you know? You know, when I'm funk. in Taiwan, I see no durian allowed signs on the buses. Yeah. Like you're not allowed to bring it onto no, the public transit. No, no, you shouldn't. Come in, let's come in okay, here okay, real okay. quick. Let's come in here. Smells like you just, remember it? <laughs> just like I remember it. I'm gonna let you go first because you never had it. Okay. Thank you. I'll do the honors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a little nutty. It's, it's nutty. a little fruity. It's funky in the beginning. Yeah. But then it dissipates after that. Honestly, this isn't. Are you into it now? Yeah. Let's see. The first time I had when I was like 20 years old, I was not into that. You gonna work that in at Tatiana? Not this menu. <laughs> <laughs> So what we got here? Where, where are we going? Okay, we're going to Ten Da. It is my favorite banh mi in the whole city. Okay. And it is so good. It is the classic kind with pate, um, ham, liver, uh, some ground pork in there, okay. and then all the trimmings. Okay. One of my favorite things about being in Vietnam is a little banh mi hearts. Well, this place yeah. kind of has that same vibe. Even though it's a brick and mortar place, you can't sit down inside. There's okay. just a little counter. You go up, you get your sandwich, and you come out and you eat it on the curb. I love that. Let's do that. 
I got the goods. Our table is ready. Oh, I have an iced oval teen for you. For moi, thank yes. you. Yes, and a Vietnamese iced coffee for me. Mm. What do you wow. think about that? <laughs> that is pretty legit. It's all about the bread for me. The bread is the most important thing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's absolutely perfect. So where are you from? Like, well, tell me everything about you. I'm from here, more or less. I'm from outside of the city, New Jersey. And you're an artist. I'm an artist, yeah. I um, make painted ceramic sculptures, and a lot of that is about colonial food ways, like the banh mi. I talk about the banh mi in my artist lectures all the time. Like, you take the banh mi, it is liver pate and mayonnaise and butter on a baguette. That is French. That is French colonialism, French colonialism. in Vietnam. Well, I think about this all the time with like, these conversations about authenticity, mm -hmm. right? Like, what's authentic? What kind, can, are white people allowed to cook Chinese food? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're fucking up the Chinese food. I just kind of think that that's an ahistorical point. You know, I think fusion food now has a bad rap or a bad name, but everything is fusion. Cuisine and culture is constantly evolving. Absolutely. And it's gonna, it always has and it always will. And people are always trying to freeze it in time, but that's not really a thing. Mm -mm. It's constant. Yeah. So where are we? We are at Yunnan Flavor Garden. Uh, they specialize in Yunnanese food. Okay. And we're gonna have something called crossing the bridge noodles. Let's cross that bridge. So Yunnan is in the southwest. It borders Myanmar and Laos. Mm. And so it's unlike other Chinese food you've had. Okay. Yeah. Xie Xie. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got a raw quail egg. Wow. We got some tofu skin, uh, cilantro, scallion, and then we have raw beef and raw lamb. And show me how to eat this. Oh, just eat it up like that. I eat it just separately. Just, just drink the egg, drink the quail yeah, egg. First you do a shot. You do a yeah. shot, then I eat this and I eat that. No, she's gonna bring some hot broth. Okay, okay. okay. And then she she will prepare it table side okay, for us. All right. They say it's called crossing the bridge noodle because some woman made this broth with a really thick layer of fat on top. So it would mm. seal in the warmth as her husband brought it to work and then ate it at okay, work. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how true that is, but that's, that's where it starts. That's the story and we're sticking yeah. to it. So that is our broth and our rice noodles. Yeah. First goes in the quail egg. The soup is still nice and hot and it'll cook the meat real fast. And then our herbs and our tofu skin. And then the noodles go last. Okay. Shishin. Chili oil, just drizzle some of Chili that. Chili it up, chili it up. Oh man, wow. These noodles are so succulent. <laughs> it's like the opposite of al dente. But it has a little bounce to it. Mm -hmm. We call that bounce QQ. QQ. Okay. Yeah. Definitely get the white pepper in here. Mm -hmm. Lots of aromatics. Yeah, by the time we get to the bottom of the bowl, all those spices are down at the bottom. I don't know what all the spices are. I've never tried to make this, because mm -hmm. why would I? And I can just come here. <laughs> It just has so much depth to it. It has so many nuances to it that I can't even put my finger on. And that's what I love when trying different cuisines. And now we're in a totally different part of the neighborhood. And yeah, what are we doing in an Irish tavern? Sunset Park is like really diverse, right? We're on 8th Ave, 7th Ave, that's all Asian. Then you move over to 5th Ave, 4th Ave, that becomes more Latino. Yeah. But then here, we're at 4th Ave and 57th Street mm -hmm. in Brooklyn, and this is one of the oldest Irish bars in the city. And they've filmed a lot of movies here, yeah, The yeah, Departed. Yeah, The Departed, I think The Deuce filmed here yeah. also. They've been around since 64, and so has the clientele. This is what I want people to see with this show, that like you can get a Vietnamese sandwich, a dish you've never heard of mm -hmm. from a region of China you've never heard of, mm -hmm. a durian that's imported oh from God, Southeast I totally Asia. I forgot that we even did that. Mm -hmm. And then you can go around the corner and get you know a fresh Guinness and play some pool in a place that's been here for the past 40 plus years. Yeah. And everyone's welcome here. It's beautiful. That's why I love Brooklyn. There's so much to explore. Mm -hmm. You want to get a drink? Let's do it. Y'all want some drinks back there? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. That's the Brooklyn way, baby. 